Hey, I'm Matthew. I'm the co-founder of WhaleSync, and I'm going to show you how to do cross-team collaboration using two Airtable bases. What we're going to do here is take one Airtable base that's our master database that has all the data about our users, and we're going to sync that with a smaller child database so we can share it with a specific team like our customer support team or our sales team. They can make edits and updates that ultimately come back to the master database without worrying about corrupting any of the rest of the data. So let's do this really quickly. I'm gonna go ahead and make myself smaller and we can take a look at this master database here. So imagine we've got three users and their names, email, their address, status as they've come in and a monthly rate. So when it comes to user data, we might not want to expose all of this to everybody at the company. It's risky, right, to have emails, addresses, potentially rates, things that are sensitive information to be shared across multiple teams. And so instead what we'll do is we're gonna take this database and create a smaller child one that has just the names and the status. That way our customer support or sales team can come in, work on these new customers, help update them from let's say a new lead to a proposal sent or eventually paying customer, have that information in their control while making sure that it syncs back to this master database. So the way we're gonna do that is if we come over to Airtable, we can duplicate the space. And this one was called master. Let's call this one customer support only. And we will go ahead for now, not duplicate those records, just the base. And let's open it. Okay, we've got our new one. Let's change the color just to make this clear. And let's get rid of the fields we don't want to expose. So emails, addresses, and monthly rate. So now we've got this nice clean Airtable base that just has the names and the statuses. And what we'll need to do is two-way sync this with our original. So the way we'll do that is if we come over to Whale Sync, this is what allows you to create that two-way sync. We can click Create New and first connect to Airtable. So Airtable works by using an API key and a base sharing link. So if we come back to, let's do the master one first, we can grab our API key here on the account page and put it here. And then we can grab this base sharing link from here. And copy paste, we're good to go. Let's go do the same thing for the child one. So save here, click Airtable, authorize, come back over. Let's go to our new customer support only base and we will grab first the API key and now the base sharing link. And we're done. Okay, cool. So we're now connected to our two Airtable bases. We get to the fun part now, which is just mapping that data. So we're basically gonna tell WhaleSync here, which is that we've got this master base and the customer support only base. We want the table users here to map to the table users there. And as you can see, that's already been done for us. Let's also choose two-way sync, right? The beauty of this is that you can make updates in either base and it'll sync to the two. So let's keep that here. We'll move on to mapping fields. A really similar idea, which is let's add the fields that we want to keep in sync. So we have a name and a status field. If we wanted to add more, we can kind of click through and add that email or the monthly rate, right, if we wanted to. But specifically, let's, let's, let's keep that how it is. So we just have these two fields, name and status, syncing. I'll move my head out of the way. Let's save this base. And we're good, base created. One table map, two fields map, that's exactly what we want. Let's go ahead and turn syncing on. Right there. And there we go. We'll see this start to initialize. If we go back to our base, immediately this is here. Whale sync syncs data instantly. So as soon as you turn syncing on, it will start to move this data around. And so we've got our three users here, we've got their status. Imagine now you're on the customer support team, you've given them this base, it doesn't have all the rest of the data exposed, it just has what they need. They can go talk to that user, let's say they have some new information, they wanna send them a proposal, they might update there for, for Trevor, for Bill, maybe this one's under review and Tina has become a paying customer. That's all great. If we come back over to our master base, immediately this has all been updated.
So Trevor, Tina, Bill, they have their updates here. And we can even go the other way, right? So let's say I am working and in this master database and I want my customer support team to see that, let's say Bill and Trevor are now paying customers. I can click that there, come back over to my customer support only. And yeah, again, instantly we are two-way syncing and doing this as well. And so you can actually do this multiple times. So maybe the customer support team has their own base. The marketing team might have a different one, right? And they might need access to the emails or the monthly rates to, to group people into, into different categories. So this is just a quick overview of how you can do cross-team collaboration across two different Airtable bases, creating one master base to collect all information for your team, for projects, for users, whatever you need, and then smaller children bases where specific teams can work on just the information that they need. Hope this is helpful. If you have other questions, please let me know. Talk soon.